Hey guys, so, question. My best friend made a good point today. Now, if you're on, or you're going on an interview, do you ever question yourself, am I really going to be interviewed by skill? I mean, am I really going to be cho um, chosen by my skill? Or am I going to be disqualified for the way I look? And the reason I'm coming to you guys about this is because my best friend and I were having a conversation. <laughs> so, she was telling me that her niece went on an interview today. And so, we were telling her, talking about the interview, whatever, whatever, whatever. And she was like, gee, what if they judge such and such and such by the way she look or what she got on and da 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 And I was just, it made sense what she was saying. Because if you think about it, a lot of us are judged in the way that we look. Of course, we all know that. But think about this. Why is it so hard for us as sisters to give each other compliments? Why is it so hard for us to give due props? Like, if I see something and I think it's cute on you, or if I'm watching one of your videos and I think something is cute, I'm going to give you your props. Oh, my goodness, that's cute. da 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 If I see you in the street, you got on some banging shoes, a cute purse, I'm going to give you your props because that's just me. I get props because I get props. But my thing is, only insecure females got to find that. That's just my opinion. Insecure females will be the first females to say, mm, or I don't like that. And you can be looking like you stepped out of a magazine. But it's always that insecure and negative female that's going to bring you drama. Okay, prime example. So... <laughs> my best friend niece had called me last night and she was like, Auntie, um, do you think I should wear my wedding band? Because what if the lady that's interviewing me went through a bit of divorce? Like, she she really thinks things out. This crazy. I call her crazy. She's just crazy. What if she was in a, um, a marriage, but she was in a bit of divorce, so she really don't want nobody working at his marry or should I take my wedding band off because maybe her husband cheated on her and I might look like the female he cheated with or that, 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 that. So she was saying, should I wear eyeshadow? Should I not wear eyeshadow? Should I wear my contacts? Should I not wear my contacts? Think about these things because some of the, they may sound crazy, but you ever set, did you ever sit down and think, dang, what if this person want to wear makeup, but they don't know how to apply the makeup, so they don't wear it at all? Or what if my eyeshadow color, which should be neutral, is not her favorite color. Like, especially if you're being interviewed by a sister. And this is not all sisters. This is just some of us that got that chip on our show. Because you already know you got to go through that level of confidence. Because there's a title there. So you got to break that down. And then, not on top of that, you come in looking cute. You well-dressed, well-groomed. And she might have had a rough day last night. A rough night last night. So you got to deal with that if you're being interviewed by somebody. And it's always one of us it's always one of us um that we have to go feel like we got to go the extra mile with i never understood that now let me take that back i wouldn't say that it's always one of us but the majority of the time it's a sister that gives another sister a hard time a hard time so <laughs> the question that she asked was a good question and you guys think about it like when you go on an interview or you go to a general place for customer service, are you really getting good customer service? Or are you really being interviewed for your skill? Or are you being mistreated because of the way you look when you walk into an establishment or when you go to an interview? Or for your nail color, for your eye color, for your skin color, for your wedding ring, for not having on a wedding ring, for your size. for the It's just so much to think about. So... I just told her, look, do a neutral look, put on your wedding band, pray to God, and get on out there to your interview. That's the best advice I can give you. But if you think about it, like, for real, why is it always something with one of us? Why is it always something? And you know, deep down in your heart, that you scored that interview. But for some reason, it was, you didn't get the call back. So, I don't know. I just wanted to come and share that with you guys. If you guys understand where I'm coming from, or if I didn't explain it right, like, give me your input on it. Like, how, how would you deal with this situation? Or have you ever experienced that? Um, why can't we just give each other compliments? Prime example today, it's raining here in Virginia. So 
So I got to the shop late. I got on leather Uggs, gold leather Uggs, jeans, and this shirt. Okay, fine. Chick is in the salon. And I'm not sure if she was expecting an older person to be the owner of the establishment. Um, but for some reason, when I walked in, I got the 30-minute grit up and down. The 30-minute, you know, grill. So when she was leaving, because of course I have other technicians there to do lashes and stuff too. When she was leaving, I was like, oh, your lashes look nice and I like that jacket. And she looked at me like, oh, thank you. Like, what was the hesitation about? If you got on something cute, I'm going to give you your props. I'm not a hater. I'm a thick, plus-size girl. But I'm not a hater. Like, and she was a small feature girl, but her jacket was banging. She had on, like, this electric blue leather um, jacket. But it was like, you know, the Chanel, the signature Chanel quilted um, bag? Her jacket was like that. But it was really, really pretty. And it was like... It was tailored fit. It was really, really nice. It looked really nice on her. So I was like, girl, that jacket is banging. And when she looked at me, she was like, oh, thank you. I guess because I always get that, gee, you look mean. You look like you stuck up. Da, 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 da. But I'm not. I'm loud. I like to have fun. I'm a real cool, calm down person. Like, for real. I'm not. Because I got this or got that. I'm stuck up. No, that's not even the case. Like, it, I'm regular just like everybody else. So, um. You know, I asked, I was like, you like your services that you got or whatever, whatever. She was like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Okay, fine, we'll see you again. Thanks for coming or whatever. But my thing is, why is it so hard for us as sisters to give other sisters compliments? I don't get it. Like, for real. It's 2010, y'all. Let's, let's step out of that. For real. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's okay to say, oh, you look cute. Or if you see something wrong, be like, Oh, well, you know, by the way, it really was supposed to be A, B, C, D, not D, E, F, G. Like, uh-uh, because A, D, C, D, E. Like, A, B, for real, what's the purpose? I don't understand the purpose of it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video now. And guys, put your comments below. And just tell me if you've experienced this, if you've experienced this situation, or if you know somebody that's experienced the situation. And just let me know. Because, for real, it's time for us to just cut it out. Enough is enough. For real. So, guys, with that being said, I'm going to say peace. And I will see you guys later, Gators.